What's up, mini truckers? Ben here. Do some mini trucks. I was just gonna say, hopefully you can enjoy this video. What I'm finding, I had this carburetor and it was getting really, really flooded, so I could smell it. And as I could look in the intake port, it's just spewing out fuel. So what happens? That needle valve inside the carburetor sticks, and then it's supposed to regulate the fuel and allow it to the float to kind of stop it and like be a little plunger but it would stop stopping it. So the fuel just keeps coming in. Essentially it overflows the carb. We did get it to start, but it's running super rich and it wouldn't run consistently. So we're waiting on the parts. We're gonna figure out some different solutions maybe. And they were saying the parts are back order until the end of August, which uh, hopefully you can enjoy it, get something out of it. And if you've got similar problems, uh, you may have that needle valve in the carburetor. I'm going to start selling them on my website, HoustonMiniTrucks.com. What's up, mini truckers? Project Acti. Got the oil and the filter changed. And this, you just drop that drain plug right here. It was missing the crush washer. Got a new crush washer installed. This one's kind of cool. It's got the locking rear differential. So it's actually vacuum up um, actuated. It looks like there's just like a lockout on that diff. So there's three vacuum lines that go there. Uh, actually one goes to this reservoir over there if you can see it okay so oil and filter I'm waiting oh it's gonna show you the carburetor yeah this is the one problem I've been finding in a couple of these carburetors is the the needle valve on the carburetor so I'll show you if we can get it to zoom in here and what it's supposed to have is like a little popper on the top. Okay, here you can see it pretty good. The one thing, this uh, there's a little kind of popper in there supposed to be up. That part is discontinued, so the way I've been fixing them for a few customers in the past, or they've fixed them themselves, they actually ordered a used carburetor and we just pulled them off of the carburetor. So I recently found a source in Great Britain and I've ordered a bunch, well I should say a bunch, four of those needle valves. They're pretty pricey. It's about half the price of a carburetor. So hopefully we're going to just wait on that and we'll take some time, relax a little bit, and then we'll come back and get the Project Act D running tip top. Alright, take it easy. <laughs> 